guys, Amanda Nelson here. I'm the managing editor of Book Riot, and I am coming at you with another edition of Let Me Update You. This is a series where I bring you modern retellings or modern books that you should read if you're fans of certain classics. We've done Dracula and Persuasion by Jane Austen, and I will leave links to those in the show notes below. And today I want to talk about Jane Eyre. Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte is probably my favorite novel ever. I have a difficult time pinning down my favorite book and it changes all the time, but Jane Eyre's pretty consistently in the top five. I love it so intently. And there have been a lot of retellings and modern versions of this story that have come out in the last couple of years. And so I want to talk about three. The first one didn't come out in the last couple of years and it's probably at this point considered a classic in its own right, but that's Why the Sargasso Sea by Jean Rice. This book was originally published in the 60s and it's the backstory of Bertha who, Spoilers! There will be spoilers for Jane Eyre in this video, uh, just to warn you, but it's like 200 years old, so I don't feel bad about it. Uh, so Rochester, the love interest in Jane Eyre, is of course married, secretly, and has put his wife, who has a mental illness, in his attic and locked her up there, as opposed to putting her in a mental institution in Victorian England, which would have been, you know, paramount to a, or tantamount, excuse me, to a death sentence. So Bertha is his wife, his mad, crazy wife in the attic, and White Sargasso Sea is the story of how they met. Now in the story of Jane Eyre, Rochester is kind of tricked into marrying his wife, who he's not told has, comes from a family with a history of mental illness. There's some hints in Jane Eyre that she's promiscuous and difficult to deal with and all of this kind of thing. And you never get to hear her side of the story, how she ended up in Rochester's attic or how she even ended, how she ended up married to him in the first place. And the two of them have a very tumultuous and rocky relationship from the beginning but it's such an interesting backstory that gives life and voice to a character that is so embedded in pop culture and in our, you know, uh, kind of cultural consciousness, but who we never really consider because we're so focused on the romance between Jane and Rochester. Um, so if you're a fan of Jane Eyre, this is a really must read, I think. So that's why it's Sargasso Sea by Jane Rice. Okay, the second book I wanted to tell you about is Read Jane by Patricia Park. This is a recent retelling of Jane Eyre. I think it came out last year. And this takes place in modern day uh, Queens in New York. And the protagonist is a young woman who is half Korean and half white. She lives in Queens with her family who does not like her. She doesn't fit in in her neighborhood. It's a Korean neighborhood, but since she's mixed race, she doesn't really fit in with her full-blooded Korean neighbors, but she also, of course, doesn't really fit in with any of the white people that she associates with either. Uh, so she graduates from high school, and while she's trying to figure out what she wants to do, she goes to work as a nanny for a couple. Uh, the man is an English teacher, the wife is a um, professor of women's studies. I love this character so much. The wife is a professor of women's studies who works in their attic. Uh, I think in Brooklyn is where they live, of course. And so she nannies for their child and falls in love with the husband. And then a giant tragedy happens, which if, you read, if you've read Jane Eyre and you're expecting the same tragedy that happens in Jane Eyre to happen in Re Jane, it's not the same. Um, but a big tragedy happens that sends Jane to Korea searching for her identity and her past. And the ending is different. Like it's very loosely based on Jane Eyre. Um, Jane's path that she takes in this book is much more about discovering and figuring out her own identity as a Korean American, as a woman, um, as a student, and then as an adult. Uh, so you're really following her growth, which is, a, I, in my opinion, a lot of what, most of what Jane Eyre is about. I think the romance in Jane Eyre is really secondary to Jane's uh, growth as a person. But anyway, so a modern and diverse retelling of Jane Eyre set in New York. And the last one that I wanted to tell you is probably one of my favorite reads of the year so far. Uh, it's Jane Steele by Lindsay Fay. This just came out last week. So the main character, whose name is Jane Steele. She lives in Victorian England in a time when the book Jane Eyre has been out for a couple of years. Jane Eyre is her favorite book, but she also has a life that very closely mirrors Jane Eyre's life. The main character Jane Steele does. So she's an orphan. She lives with her aunt in a large English manor. She runs off, becomes a governess for a man named Mr. Thornfield, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So there are a lot of parallels, but the difference in this book is that Jane Steele is, a, Jane Steele is a serial killer. She is a vigilante who kills men who are using their positions of privilege and power to abuse women and girls. And she does this repeatedly through the book. Not, um, It's not even really purposeful. It's not like, um, she sets off to be a person who murders other people, but she is put in situations where it's fight or flight and she always chooses fight and eventually she's left a trail of bodies behind her. All of whom kind of deserved it. <laughs> 
So there are a lot of moral, moral questions in this retelling. It's um, obviously got a feminist angle, which Jane Eyre does too. And it preserves all of those things that I really love about Jane Eyre, the atmosphere, that kind of moody English Victorian thing where there's like fog and windy moors and big giant houses that are crumbling and all of that. It preserves all of that, but in a really updated kind of way. So go ahead and read that. I love that book a lot. And that's it for Let Me Update You, Jane Eyre. If you have any read-alikes, modern books that you think that readers of Jane Eyre will love, leave them in the comments below, and I will talk to y'all later.